Hello, grace and peace be multiplied to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Flourish Peters. I'm the lead pastor of the Logic Church, the love of God and Christ Church. What you're about to hear will change your life forever because it is the word of His grace. I commend you to God and the word of His grace and is able to build you and give you an inheritance among the saints. Acts 20 verse 32. This will bless you. Listen, invite your friends to join in. I'll see you in a bit. So we're going to stand up for the reading of God's word, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. All right, let's read together with a loud voice as a mass choir. One, two, three, go. You want to do it one more time just in case the devil didn't hear you. Father, we thank you for your word. Give me unction to preach this morning. Give me nimbleness of mind and agile thought. Let your people be edified. Let the demons be terrified and you alone be glorified. Put your hands together, celebrate Jesus one more time. Find your seat. Tell somebody, I'm a new creation. Oh, you didn't sound convincing. I'm a new creation. We need to run this. I'm a new creation. You know, there's a song that says, you make my life feel brand new. The believer doesn't feel brand new. He is brand new. So you make my life so brand new. Mm. I don't feel brand new. I am brand new. Because the new creation is not a feeling. It's a reality. God, is it too early? The new creation is not a feeling. It's a reality. You don't feel who you are. I don't feel like I'm claxing. I'm claxing. You don't feel like you're Pastor Nobuji, you are Nobuji. I don't feel myself, I'm myself. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's not a feeling, it's a reality. So I'm not praying, Father, make me a new creation when I believe that was made. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When I believed, I was made. So believing is the making process. Oh, God, this morning, this morning. Believing is a making process. So when God wanted to make man, he brought believing in place. So God stopped creation on the seventh day. At resurrection, he resumed creation. Uh, you didn't hear me. God stopped, God stopped creation on the seventh day. At resurrection, he resumed creation. So resurrection is God's automated plan to have creation ongoing. Resurrection is God's automated plan. So in other words, what you call automation is you're not in the system, but the system is running. So God stopped, he removed himself and then made resurrection the automation. So that even though he is not there, if you put faith, you become new. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? So then there was a problem. Man fell because Adam sinned. So man falls now, Adam has sinned, and all of human race is now in problem. So man is now trying to get back to God. Man is trying, he's hustling. But you see, the gospel replaces hustling. What you have is believing. So when men are shouting, hustle, 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 we're shouting, believe, oh, believe, oh, believe, oh. You say, hustle, may, your, may, may AFCC no come your house, can everybody leave you? Is it too early? No, no, no. So man was making an attempt to uh, by God. Man was making an attempt to get back to God. He was doing something. He was working himself out. He was hustling to the Christ. You don't hustle to the Christ. He was doing something to get there. But you don't. The, the interesting part about the story is that whilst man was hustling, also God was also trying to get to, to man, because God wanted relationship. You must understand that God did not create love for himself. He created love because he wanted an object to pour it on. Wow. Wow. <sighs> Something is about to hit you right now. I'm coming to you. So, God is now trying to get to man and man is trying to get to God. 
And that's why I like the song that he sang. You carry him palaka, define me. Gen Z, we don't know Mbalaka. Atupa. It's Atupa. It's one pangolo like that. You now put wig inside and kerosene. You make it from maybe milk container or... Yeah. She's in the spirit. That's Mbalaka. So God took it. Because you see that, oh my God, my God, my God. Religion is man trying to find God. Christianity is God looking for man. Religion is man trying to find God. But Christianity is God now looking for man. So, so God became man to meet man. Because man couldn't offer sacrifices that were adequate enough because a fallen man cannot give adequate sacrifice. Are you seeing that now? The beautiful thing to see is this. God doesn't do long distance. God doesn't do long distance. You used to dating someone in the abroad. No, when we, when we received salvation, God moved into the believer. It, I, I can't be doing this relationship from afar. Heaven is too far. So he came down, moved into the, the man. God moved at salvation into the man. In this world, when you get married, the, the wife moves into the house of the man. In the gospel, God moved into the house of the bride. Hey, man, Dabaka, I'm coming to you. I'm coming. So what you find, this is very interesting to know because if we were the ones that moved in, we would have moved out. You'd be like, I I'm done doing this. I'm going to sign a divorce paper. I'm not doing this anymore. But God was the one who moved because he can't move out. Beautiful thing is he didn't move in when you were clean. He moved in when you were dirty. So he cleaned up the house and stayed there because he is called the Holy Spirit. He makes the place holy and fitting for himself. For he will present the bride by himself spotless. The bride is not the one cleaning up. It is the one who comes to her that cleans her up and presents her to her himself. Are you seeing that now? Are you following me? I'm coming to you. The rest of a commander. So, uh, so he moves into the bride. Man now has come. Jesus, God has now become man to meet man. This is interesting. Notice also, my God, notice also that he doesn't send an angel, he sends himself. Because the bringer of salvation determines the offspring of salvation. Because if salvation had come by angels, who would have been born servants. That's why angels can preach the gospel. Because the gospel that produces sons cannot be communicated by servants. So an angel can bring the gospel to you. When Cornelius met an angel, the angel says, Send for Peter. Even Jesus can preach the gospel. Even G, your Jesus can preach. The gospel was given to men to preach, not Jesus. So when Jesus met Paul on his way to Damascus, he said, go and meet Ananias. Because it, a man do raveless, some de shorty. There's something in this room. Baratakamanto soto. Angels don't preach. Jesus doesn't preach. When he ascended, men began to preach. The gospel is given to men. The bringer of salvation determines the outcome or the offspring of salvation. So if you receive the gospel from a servant, you become a servant. But it came from the song so that it is him who now brings many songs unto glory. Yes, sir. Oh my God, I need to run on this thing. I'm coming to you. So, so Jesus, God now becomes the son in the flesh. And now comes to meet man. But now the issue is this. He will now have to offer sacrifices just as man was offering to get to the father. So, but now he will not offer animal sacrifices. He will offer himself. The problem then is if he offers himself, who will accept the offering? 
So he offers himself, steps out of the offering, becomes the acceptor. So he's the offering, the offerer, and the acceptor. Now, this is powerful because the intention is so that man will have nothing to contribute. Because if we did anything, we'll have something to boast about. But salvation is not of works, lest any man should boast. Are you seeing that now? Are you seeing that now? So the intention was to remove our hand from the matter. So he did it by himself. So God appeased himself by himself and then brought you into the appease. Like I told you on Wednesday, it's finished work, finished work, finished work. Are you following? Are you tracking with me? Are you tracking with me? So what he then does is this. Oh my God, very husky. What he then does is this. By what he did by his sacrifice, he creates a new location called in Christ. So in Christ now, it's not just a person, it's a location. In Christ, in him, is a place. So the intention, my God, is to bring all of his children into in Christ. Are you following what I'm saying? Uh, uh, let me explain to you. Um, um, come, come, please. Vondras keva dahasis. So this is, oh God, this is in Christ. Are you seeing what I'm saying? This is in Christ, but this is the man. So what God wanted to do was to give salvation to the man. But the man was still under the law and couldn't receive it because he has to get it based on the requirements of the law. God wanted to give healing to the man, but he couldn't receive it because he didn't have the capacity to receive it. God wanted to give miracles and open heavens to this guy, but he couldn't receive it. So what he did was to give it to his son and then bring the man into the son. So that everything that this one has, he has by entering. The issue is, is the, the interesting part about it is this. What he was doing was this. Since this guy can never be disqualified, you will never be disqualified because you are in him. So you won't lose what you received. Because if he gave it to you, your conduct might make you lose it. But the Christ cannot misbehave. So what you receive in him, you will never lose. Uh, uh, are you following me so far? So in Christ then is now the new location. So even though your body is on the earth, your spirit is in Christ. Are you following what I'm saying? So your body might be here, but, <laughs> but your spirit is in Christ. So if any man be, put up the scripture again, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Uh, let's stay at in Christ for a minute. So if any man is in Christ, notice he doesn't say if any man be in church. Because you can be a worker and not be in Christ. You can be a pastor and not be in Christ. Because how we get into this location is what John reveals to us in John 3.16. Whosoever believes... So we come into the Christ by believing because we believe for a living. Are you, are you tracking with me now? So, oh God, I'm coming to you in a bit. So then, oh God, if any man is in Christ. So you can be a pastor and not be in Christ. So what you find is with the movies like um, Left Behind. You say, ah, did they preach for church, rapture happened. Everybody, no go. Even the pastor, no me come. He was not in Christ. He was in church. Because when the trumpet sounds, it sounds in Christ, not in the clouds. What we thought was that it is pam parana. No. It's a sound in the spirit that only men in the spirit can hear. How do I know? Because when it happens, even the deaf will hear it. So how did they hear because even though he is deaf in his body, in this Christ, he is not deaf. So in Christ, there's no deafness. In Christ, there's no sickness. In Christ, there's no lame person. In Christ, there's no fibroid. Oh my God. In Christ, in Christ. So, there's no death. So, even the dead in Christ will rise. 
How did the dead hear? How did the dead? I, I thought they were dead. How did the dead hear? They were dead in body but alive in Christ. How did the dead hear? So it tells you something that in Christ becomes the oh my God. Have you noticed that we can be all of here Christians and you be like, I, I sense something in the spirit. And someone says, I sense the same thing. I, I sense the same thing. We were not there at the same time, but we sense the same thing. How? We're all in Christ. Because in Christ is now the same WhatsApp group for all believers. So when God wants to drop a message, he drops it in Christ. So all believers will get it at the same time. The problem is except you are not online. Except you are not online. But even though I'm not online, the message is still there. So how do I come online? Belata safalata. It's still connecting. It's still rolling. As you are going, messages begin to drop. They begin to drop. They begin to drop. But, but you see, there, there are sometimes, there are some messages that the file is too large, so it keeps rolling. It's not the network, it's the file size. So you stay there some more. Batati Soteka, Epefa Sata, Brastekom de Silamehai, Ikomom de Sotom Bresto, Ekabiti Kombosia. And if it's not working, Maia. Elaya kabe walata kai, ikombo walata nega walata ya, eko wa iya ko walata kai ga, daseto kome lata ke, rete kete legete. That's how you come online. Slap your neighbor, say come online. Because the healing is in the WhatsApp group. Uh. The miracle is in the WhatsApp group. The baby is in the WhatsApp group. When he dropped it, he was for you. But because you weren't there, but listen, just because you weren't there does not mean the file is deleted. Can you get your baby back right now? Can you get the miracle back? You missed it because you weren't there. Can you get it? I'm gonna shut up. I give you two minutes. You miss the employment because oh my, you were in online. Come online now. Come online now. Shila. Don't sit and look around. There's your miracle in that WhatsApp group. In Christ is a WhatsApp group. The healing is in Christ. The miracle is in Christ. The baby is in Christ. Come on, come on, come on now. It's in Christ. If any man be in Christ, if any man be, oh, son, da, 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 da. take your baby back. Take your miracle back. Take the healing back. If any man be, go show them. If any man be, Kadama Shanda Bakai. Sit, sit, we're just talking. That's how my papa says it. Sit, sit. If any man be in, if any man be in, that's where the miracle is. You've been looking for it outside Christ, that's why you're struggling. Some of you are already trying to exit the WhatsApp group, but this in, you can't exit. Because you are locked up in uh, Shada Mahaya. If any man be in, if oh my God, I feel the anointed. If any man be in, Shada Labakia da Soto. Put up the scripture again. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, 
Notice he says he's a new creation, not a Christian. I need to preach this. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation, not a Christian. There's nothing wrong with the word or name Christian, but the problem is the people who gave us the name were unbelievers. The unsaved man cannot name the saved man. They saw them at Antioch behaving well, so they called them Christian. So the name was given to them based on their conduct. But the problem with that is, how can you name me after something that is fluctuating? Because I'm now a work in progress. So when you saw me behave well, you called me a Christian. What if I mess up tomorrow? What if I mess up tomorrow? Would you still call me a Christian? It changes. Are you genuinely born again? But when God was going to name us, he didn't wait for us to behave. He called us the name, new creations. The intent was that the name will produce the conduct. Uh -huh. ah! Balataki bo som te kabashan Deti tum te kea Sevelika runta sa So I'm not defined by my conduct I'm defined by my nature So even though I'm still misbehaving I'm a new creation You might be masturbating but I'm a new creation You may not look so good I'm a new creation uh, Because it's the new creation that fixes the conduct <laughs> Your conduct cannot reverse. <laughs> because the actions of men cannot trigger the move of God. Uh, car. Uh. The actions of men cannot trigger the move of God. This is powerful because if the actions of men did trigger the move of God, it will mean that God is under control by him. Um, uh. But because the actions of men cannot trigger his move, nothing we do can undo the move. You can't reverse the move. So the gospel, the gospel is the move of God premise on his nature, not my conduct. So even if I'm not behaving well, he's still moving in my direction. I didn't pray so well, but he's going to save me from the accident. It's not, I will pray, I will pray. No, no, no. Even if I don't pray, he's faithful. Faithful is he that call it. Faithful is he that call it. I know whom I have believed and I'm persuaded that he is able to keep all I've come to keep all I've come on to him against her even if I don't pray he's gonna keep me safe even if I don't fast he's gonna keep me even if I don't tight he's gonna keep me safe because his faithfulness is not premised on my behavior his faithfulness is premised on his nature it's not about what I can do or not do it's about what he did in Christ Jesus I'm in him justified he is in me glorified I'm in him justified he is in me glorified I'm in him justified he's in me glorified I'm in him justified he's in me glory it's not about what I can do it's about what he did it's about what he did not what I did I couldn't do anything God commended his love to him that while we were yet seen. No be by behavior. No be who behave well. It's by in Christ. If any man be in Christ. If any man be. If any man be in Christ, he will behave well. You can behave well and still not have it. But in Christ, even if you don't behave, you have it. So in Christ is, we're all sharing the same Wi-Fi. Can I preach this thing today, God? Sit, sit, we're just talking. That's how daddy says it. If, uh, if any, I need to unpack it. If any man be in Christ, he is a new, 
He's not going to be. You can't improve on the new creation. He's a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold. That's the line that we often miss. Behold, all things have become new. Why does he say behold then? Uh, he says behold because it's possible for you to be saved and not look like you're saved. So the problem is you were looking on the outward, you weren't beholding. Because salvation did not happen in your body, it happened in your spirit. Verse 16 says, henceforth we know no man after the flesh. So what it means is if you're not beholding, you're judging yourself according to the flesh. Your behavior is progressive. So you are a new creation, behavior or no behavior. So he says to behold, because if you don't behold, you'll miss the point. Um, can you come, please? Come again, please. Come again. Let me show you this then. I'm going to have time. I need to, I need to drive this. Come, come, come. Oh, vratasi to mondo si. Glory to God. Davela, 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 Davela Maha, Siza Bahasis, Davra Katanda Sia, Rakatanda Bosi. I have judged you faithful, says God. And your behavior can reverse what I'm about to do in your life. You think you missed the point, but I met the point. Kanamanda Sefretos Kizu, Davita Vash de Comborata Sizu, Deva Ambros Tamanda. So then, this is where salvation happened, uh, here rather, because the believer is a tripartite being. He has a spirit, he has a soul, and he lives in a body. But the problem is, at salvation, you were looking at your body. But this is where salvation happened. So when the Bible says, he who is born of God cannot sin, he was referring to this guy. The spirit is born of God. Your body is not born of God. So, uh, so James writes in about it, says, Receive ye therefore the engrafted word of God, which is able to save your souls, because the spirit is saved already, the soul is being saved, and the body will be saved. Are you following carefully? So this is where, God, this is where salvation happened. But we've been looking on this side. What you should realize is this is where the healing is. This is where the miracle is. But if you don't train this guy to understand who this guy is, these possibilities here will not flow to this guy. So the limitation of the believer is ignorance premise on what this guy really is. So when you tell people, train your spirit, you can't train the spirit, it's trained. When you say feed your, you can't feed the spirit, it is fed. The spirit doesn't read Bible, he's the author of the word. He wrote the book. He, he's not reading it. What you have here as salvation is the Holy Spirit that replaced your spirit. The believer doesn't have two spirits. It is one spirit. But this one spirit is now caged because this guy is limited. So spiritual growth is not feeding your spirit. It is training your mind to catch up with who you are in the spirit. So the more this guy knows about this guy, the possibilities here can flow. You can't give food to food. This is it. He doesn't feed. He came to feed you. Uh -huh. This is the storehouse. Kabalata velata shandaya. So you can have you can have symptoms here, but there's healing here. And Hasha, you are sick here, but there's a pharmacy inside here. Can you pull out some healing from inside? Ezata Kabalata Kenamanda Sonia, Mando Sonia, take from within and put upon. I give you one more minute. Kabela Tasu Peketo Rashandaya, you can walk under arthritis right now because there's healing power in the spirit. That's where the possibilities of God is. I'm gonna deal with that stuff in the spirit because in Christ are the possibilities of the Godhead. I'm not a normal person. I've got the power of God in me. If the spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives in you, Hoshaya, it will quicken your muscle bodies. If the same spirit, oh Hoshaya, 
if the same spirit that rose Christ from the dead lives in you it will quicken your mortal if the same spirit sit 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 if the same spirit the same spirit so what rose him from the dead moved into the believer how can i be having death around kelama i'm walking resurrection if i come into any place dead things come alive it's not just a song it's a reality if I touch you, you will get healed. It's not a prayer point, it's a fact. I know who I am. I know who I am. Let me not stretch this. But then he says, Behold. 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 Because as we behold in a glass, 2 Corinthians 3, 18, the glory of God, we are changed. Uh, we are metamorphosed. Because the idea is once you change, you can't be reversed. Uh, so, don't judge me by what I'm looking like right now. Because uh, the caterpillar is a butterfly, even though it doesn't look like it. Uh, I'm going through a process and I'm coming out. Don't write me off yet. I'm going through something, but I'm coming out. Don't write me. I'm a new creation, even though I don't look like it. I might be old on the outside, but I'm new on the inside. I may not look like, but I'm it. I'm not trying to fake it until I make it. I'm it. I'm not trying to fake it until I make it. I am it. I'm not trying to fake it until I make it. I am it. I'm not trying to fake it until I am him. I am him, him, him. I am him. If anyone be in Christ, he's not a teen, he's a hero. I'm not trying to fake it. I'm not trying to fake it now. I am him. Because he that is joined with the Lord is one spirit. He that is joined with the Lord. Is one spirit is one spirit so then um, maybe you should just sit for a bit thank you so so he says to behold he says to behold I remember that I was using a particular X Nokia S2 one time and then one day I was playing and I pressed restore factory settings the phone became new but the body was old so salvation is God restoring us to factory settings. The original. So the body, you've not changed the body of the phone, but the operating system has changed. What you now have to do is now change the programming, the software's inside to be compatible with the new OS. And then now change the casing. Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying? So, but there's something I want to show you. He says to behold. I wanted to search some of the ladies' bags, but do you have a mirror inside? Who has a mirror, please? Want me want to give me a mirror? Oh my God. Oh my God. I will manage it. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. Put your hands together for mommy, please. Thank you, mommy. So, so then he says to behold so every lady has a mirror in their bag at least some ladies yeah. or you have an iPhone that now serves as a mirror yeah. so what you what, what you find then is this God blessed them with beautiful eyebrows but he took it off and drew new ones no shades intended preaching good but, 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 but what you find is, what you, what, you find, what you find also is this. So they, they draw the eyebrows in the morning, looking at the mirror, and then close it. And then go, and listen, notice they did not record the mirror when they did. 
But they go out to check the mirror again after like going from Lekki phase one to phase two. They want to know if it is the same thing they saw in the morning. But they did not record it. How did they know the original? It's in the consciousness. Kabila Tazoto, breast the men the shea. They did not record it though, but they know what it was. James 1 24, a man looks himself in the mirror and walks away forgetting what manner of man he is. So there's, so, so they're looking at the mirror now. So they've gone from lucky phase one to two. They are now, so when they look, the intention is to adjust it to the original image. As we behold, we become, uh, we change. But the problem then is nobody has seen their real face before. Are you, are you tracking with me? Think, 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 think. Nobody has seen their face. The only way to see your face will be to remove your head. But when you do, you can still see your face. So what you, be, what you believed as your... Oh my God. What you believed as your face was what the mirror told you. Ah! Ah! The reflection. So if the mirror said there's a dot here, even if there wasn't, you would believe the mirror. Nobody has seen their real face before. So even when someone tells you, ah, you have a mark here, you go to the mirror to confirm. Amanda Velas, I came, I'm coming for you. Gadabaha says Omonda. So, uh, so then whilst the physical mirror shows you who you are in the physical, the spiritual mirror shows you who you are in the spirit. The problem is why can't you believe the, physical, the spiritual mirror? If it says you are healed, why can't you believe you are healed? Whose report would you believe? I will believe the report of the Lord. If the mirror says I'm fine, I'm fine. Even though I'm limping like this, I choose to believe the spiritual mirror. I'm going to look on the mirror every single day and I'm gazing at the mirror. I'm looking until I become what I see. Uh, because the intent is for you to show you who you are in the spirit so you can adjust it. Uh, so Amandeva, when I see myself in the mirror and it's not looking like me I adjust it to the reflection because it says as we behold beholding as in the glass the glory of God so when I look at the mirror what do you see when you look at the mirror? yourself but he says, when you look now, you see the glory. Are you thinking? Are you thinking? Yes. How can you be looking at the mirror and you're seeing glory? It must mean that the person looking is glory. So the believer is the glory of God. <laughs> Because the glory that you have given me, I have given to them that we may be one. So we are one, not by prayer, but by glory. <laughs> so the... The believer then is the glory of God. The believer is the glory of God. But then we find that there's a problem now. Laban and uh, Jacob are having squabbles. Jacob wants to go, but Laban says, you can't go. The only way to go, Jacob says, you're going to give me, sit, sit. You're going to give me uh, um, the animals that have spots on them. But, oh my God. Laban is a trickster, so he gives him animals to mates that don't have the genes for sports. Jacob looks at the situation and he's perplexed. And what does he do next? He says to himself, there's a law called beholding. So what he does is pick sticks and make sports on them. And put them where his animals will go drink and mate. So every time they are drinking and mating, they are beholding. They did not have the genes for sports. <laughs> Bota. They didn't have the genes for sports, but they were looking at the spotted sticks. So the, as they looked and mated, the genes became. <laughs> the, 
what I'm saying is what you want to see, behold. You want to see prosperity, behold. It's in the word. I'm going to keep looking until the change appears. They told you the baby is shifted. I keep looking, Mandabakaya. It's going to turn when I behold. I'm still looking. You may not have the gene for it. It may not run in your family, but it runs in the world. It may not run in your family, but it runs in the world. Ah, it runs in the world. If I can find it in my family, I can find it in the world. I can find it in the world. I can find oh shut up. I can find it. In, I, I, I'm gonna be looking. 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 It says your genotype is AS. It can become AA because the word is active and alive. AA. I I'm going to keep looking. The genotype of the word is AA. I'm going to keep looking. Something is about to change right now. Something is about to change right now. Something is about to change right now. Get upon your feet and behold. That's a tata. -ta. I behold some more and I put some tongues on it and I can like any more shot. I keep beholding her for as we behold we are changed. As we behold we are changed. As I behold, I'm not living until it changes. I'm not going anywhere until it changes. I'm not going anywhere. Whose reports will you believe? I believe the report of the Lord. I'm not going anywhere. They said the baby is upside down. I'm going to behold. Mother, look at the world. Your baby is going to turn. Mother, look at the world. Your baby is going to turn. They said the baby is deformed. If the same spirit that rose Christ from the dead, Kabananda shot. I'm going to keep looking. By his tribes, I am healed. I'm gonna keep looking. I don't care what they say, I'm gonna keep looking. I don't care what they say, I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna keep looking. There's something in the word. It doesn't run in your family, but it runs in the word. It runs. I can see change. I can see it changing. Oh my God. I can see it changing. I can see it changing. So the animals were looking, they didn't have the genes, but they became because they beheld, because beholding leads to becoming. What's interesting is this, the animals did not pray and fast, they only looked. Uh, The animals did not pray and fast, they only looked. The, oh they only looked. Look and leave. If you can see the serpent on the Omahaya, oh if you can see the present serpent, the snake has nothing on you. If you can, oh my God, so it looks like they were looking at Jesus. Uh, ah, ah, They weren't fasting and praying, but they were looking. The sheep was not about their behavior, but they were looking. Yeah. They had nothing to bring, but they were looking. 
some were stubborn, some were cool, but they were looking. If you can behold, it will cause a change. You will be calm. You will be calm. My God, there's something in this room. There's something in, oh my God. As we behold you, we are changed into the same age as we behold you. As we behold you, we are changed into the same image as we behold you. As we behold you, we are changed into the same image as we behold you. As we behold you, we are changed into the same image as we behold. Pray the Holy Ghost one minute. Pray the Holy Ghost one minute. Don't look around. It's time to behold. Because your miracle is in the beholding. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I give you 20 more seconds. Right now, right now, right now. Don't look around. I can hear you pray. I can hear you pray. I can hear you pray. Shut up, 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 Yes, we behold you. Cancer is falling off right now. That cancer just shrunk. Who am I talking to? That cancer just shrunk right now. The atmosphere just shifted now. Let's let that come on to see ya. Tarato Kobohoso. Cancer just dropped right now. Your BP just normalized. Your BP just normalized. As you beheld, your BP just normalized. Who am I preaching to? Image as we behold, and as we behold, we are changed into the same image as we behold. Let's all fire. Yes, we behold. Let's put the song one more time. Logic sound. We are changed. Into the same image as we behold. Let's show the commandant. I want you to go home with something this morning. As we behold, we are changed into the same image as we behold. As we behold, we are changed. As we behold you, as we behold you, as we behold, as we behold, we are changed, we are changed into the same image as we behold, as we behold.
So I'm not looking at arthritis. I'm looking at the cross. I'm looking at the word. Something is falling off your life right now. Who am I talking to? Something is falling off your life. You will get home and you'll meet a testimony in the house. Something is falling off your life. Who am I preaching to? Something is falling off your life. Something is falling off your life. Something is falling off your life. We are changed. We are changed into the same image as we behold. As we behold. As we behold. Oh, Shalabella does it. As we behold, we are changed into the same thing as we behold. We can take a coca tea. That dead business is coming back to life. That dead business is coming back. Who am I talking to? That dead business is coming back. No more struggling anymore. The struggles are over. The days of 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 Oshada Daka. The days of struggles are over. As we are changed. We are changed. You just say as we behold, as we behold, we are changed. We are changed into the same image as we behold. With unveiled faces, with unveiled faces, with unveiled faces, as we behold, as we behold, we are changed. As we behold, yeah, 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 yeah. we behold, we are changed into the same image as we behold. Father, we thank you. Because as we look, change has come. Hey, change has come. Upon every house and family represented here today, change has come. Come on, change has come. If you know change has come to your house, open up your mouth. Give God a radical shout of praise. With joy, you will draw waters from the well of salvation. Give God a shout of praise with a voice of triumph. Give God a shout. of my father with those few words of mine I hope I've been able to convince you just before you take your seat one minute I'd like to thank my father again Dr. Flores Peters for this opportunity you need to clap there right The man is truly strong by the sons that he has raised. And I can proudly say that I'm the son of Dr. Flourish Peters. Put it on live TV. I'm the son of Dr. Flourish Peters. He who has sinned me has sinned the father. Proudly can say that. And I'm grateful that he calls me son. Thank you, father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me wings to fly. Thank you. All right, guys. So um, 
Papa sends his greetings and he's going to come back shortly at the next week. And he said to tell you that he's coming to take LFC classes. So you all get ready for him. We're ready, right? Help me receive our mother, our father, beautiful, lovely wife, the very incredible first lady of Logic Nation. As she comes to say a blessing over the house. And God bless you, mommy. Thank you. What are you beholding? You need to behold this week. <laughs> Logic sound, are we doing any offering or you're ready to go home? Okay. All right, have you given? A few announcements like Pastor Claxon said, people specially sent this. <laughs> He's found time to type this out. So midweek service will be an impactation service. So he's going to be back before Wednesday. And he's going to be doing an impartation service. So you want to be here. Don't miss an opportunity to be in the room. So if you haven't made it to midweek before, this is a very good Wednesday to come. Okay? He also mentions LFC, uh, like Pastor Claxton has said. They're having the first class on Saturday. People will be preaching. I mean, he'll be teaching that first class. So please sign up so that you can make the class as well. Are we done giving? Father, Lord, we thank you for everyone that is giving today. We thank you, Father, because we're giving because we know that we are blessed. Father, from this giving, you bless us more in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba, because we'll never have a better yesterday. Thank you because you replenish in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' much less name we've prayed. All right, so let's do the declaration. Can I have the declaration, please? We're going to say this all together. One, two, three, go. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am the redeemed of the Lord. All my sins are forgiven. I am passionately loved by God. I am powerfully helped by God. I am kept and protected by God. I enjoy angelic assistance. I am irrevocably blessed. I am eternally forgiven. I am the healed of the Lord. I enjoy divine health. I have the favor and the wisdom of God. I am fruitful. I flourish, excel, and prosper in all that I do. Nothing is against me. Nothing dies in my hand. I am never stranded. All things are working together for my good. God loves me more than the devil hates me. And scream this one. Grace is working for me. Now let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit is with us now and forevermore. Amen. Now point your prophetic finger. Surely God's goodness and mercies are following us all the long days of our lives. And we are the dwelling of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. It's your girl, Pastor Max. Ah, oh, we're not out of message, we're just out of time. And I'm very sure you were blessed by that word. Please follow us on all our social media platforms and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're watching and you have not accepted Jesus into your heart, I want to lead you to Christ. By a simple prayer, say, with my heart I believe and with my mouth I confess that Jesus is Lord. I accept you into my heart today. Flood my life with your light, with your life and your peace in Jesus name Satan I am out of your claws I am in Christ and Christ is in me I decree and declare I am saved I confess with my mouth Jesus is Lord I believe in my heart that he died for me come into my heart Lord Jesus in Jesus matchless name amen now that you are saved please find any of our churches around the world to log in and keep fellowship and keep hearing the word of his grace we encourage you to respond by way of giving the, the account details are on the screen. Please give 
and just respond to the word of his grace until I come your way again. It's your boy, Pastor Flores from the Logic Nation. Never forget, God loves you more than the devil hates you. Have a flourishing week ahead of you. In Jesus' name, with great grace. Bless him.